I see it. This guy really sprawled me and it is bad. I am way down here, right? This guy sprawled me down to my face. Step number one is, if I bring my head up, what's he probably gonna do to me? He's probably gonna cross face me and rip my head off, right? Stuff my head or whatever. Whatever it is, one, I'm gonna protect myself. So here, I'm so extended, you don't wanna be extended out to your belly, you have just lost the takedown if this happens. So you've got to learn to recover your position. So step number one is, I'm bad shape, I'm gonna step, and I'm gonna get myself to a safe position. I'm putting both knees underneath here, probably both elbows on the mat, and I'm hiding my face from that cross face. He's trying to cross face me. Stay right here a second. Notice how I'm sitting on my shoelaces. This is one of those details I want you to know about this. Rather than give up this takedown, right here, I want to get to this position. I'm safe, I'm stable, I'm wide. Worst case scenario for me right now is that this guy can't do anything to me and we end up in a stalemate. It's not my ideal outcome, but it is an outcome that I'm willing to accept given that I just took a really stupid bad shot, right? But if I can make it happen for two points, then I'm gonna make it happen. So usually what happens from here is I'm hiding my face, he's trying to cross face, he can't do it. Generally what they're gonna do is they're gonna try to go to my feet. That's why I sit on my shoelaces. If I'm here, then I give them a hand and work on it. I'm sitting on my shoelaces, they don't have that, right? So what's the weight shifts when they grab my feet? That's my opportunity. They left my head alone, right up here. That's why we call it a knee pull right here. I'm going to sit and I'm going to pull his knee up tight. Now, it's about me bulldog and this guy is trying to win. What I've got to do now is I've got to get to my double leg position. If I pull the knee, I'm going to try to take a big step outside. Attack a double leg right here. It's a called knee pull finish. It's not easy. Right? That's why it's the last thing that we do. I'm in big trouble here. I'm in big trouble. Just riding it out. You could theoretically, if you get into this position on your belly, if you're on your belly, you've got to get to your base. If you're on your base, you've got to get to your feet. That's kind of the sequence of wrestling. So this is as terrible as it can possibly get. I am not giving this up. I'm gonna get to a lock. I'm gonna pull myself into a decent position right here. He starts working on my feet. His weight goes to the back. There's my opportunity right here. He's got his hands on my feet. I'm trying to step. I'm just bulldogging this thing. At this point, he's fighting, I'm fighting. Eventually, I want to try to get right here and finish my double leg. It's not easy, but what's the alternative? You give up a takedown off your own shot. 